Hey everybody, Brett from Astartes Gaming here, back with another Ghost Recon Wildlands character creation tutorial video. Last time around, we did uh, Michael Stonebridge from the uh, Cinemax show Strike Back. Today we're going to be doing another request. Uh, it's the support class from Battlefield 4. So without any further ado, let's jump right on in. Um, first thing we want to do is, uh, of course, go to the clothing. Um, this is you know, a very generic character, so as far as body details, whatever you want is absolutely fine, whether you want tattoos, different hairstyles. It makes no difference. Most of it you're not going to see anyways. Um, so clothing. I'm actually going to leave the shirt for last because this is sort of something I've been going back and forth on. So we'll kind of come back to that later. Um, as far as the vest goes, Either the Molly that we currently have on there or the IBA I think is going to be the best choice. I'm going to go with the IBA here and then it should be multicam or like a sandstone color. Um, you can kind of take your pick. Um, the vest on the character does have some camouflage but it's very very subtle. Um, so this might be too much but it's, it's your call, it's your character, so I'm going to go with the multicam, we'll see how it looks, maybe we'll change it to the sandstone after, but it should be sort of like this kind of khaki color. And then as far as the pants go, um, the, where is it, the cry, the cry precision, cry precision, there we go, need to work on my precision talking, um, is basically what he's wearing, although I always find that these pants look a bit weird. But these are the ones that he has on, and they are in multicam, so that's what we'll go with. If you don't like these pants, I would suggest maybe, um, probably like Cargo A or something with knee pads. Like that might not be a bad alternative, just throw those in multicam instead. But since this is what he's wearing, I'm going to go with these. He does have gaiters on his legs, they're like black gaiters. Um, obviously we can't really do anything with that here, so... We'll have to leave that alone. And then as far as his shoes go, they look very similar to this, but they're like a light tan color. Um, no matter what color you pick in this game, they're gonna look black. So I'm just gonna go with sandstone and we'll leave it there. And that's pretty much it for the clothing. Now, as I said, we're gonna leave the, the top for later. And that's because it's difficult to get the, the right look with the shirts available here. I'm actually leaning toward the um, the striped hoodie here because his sleeves are rolled up and the shirt is basically like a dark gray or a black so this actually isn't too far off but the thing is the shirt he's wearing looks more like a military shirt than this. Um, it's basically like a shirt that would match the cry precision pants just without the camouflage. It's the same like type of shirt from those uniforms. So the fleece is actually a little bit closer in appearance, but you can't roll the sleeves of the fleece up. So it's it's really, to me, down to those two. And then um, as far as color is concerned, the gray in this game is a bit too light, but the black is not really the right color either. So you could go black or you could go gray. I'm going to go black because it looks closer to the dark gray in the game. And then, as I said, either this or the striped hoodie. Um, I'm kind of torn on which one is better. Let's go with the striped hoodie for now. We can always come back. And now for the accessories. Um, the first thing we want to do is... Actually, we're going to completely skip eyewear, I believe. Maybe not. We'll come back to that. But he's not technically wearing any eyewear in the picture. So I'll show you what I mean later. Um, for his face, you want the two-hole balaclava. Unfortunately, he's wearing one of these and a neck scarf, and you can't have both. So, in this case, you're going to have to decide which one you prefer. Do you want the neck scarf or do you want the face mask? Um, I'll start with this, and maybe we'll switch back, and you guys can kind of see which one looks better. Um, as far as headwear goes, you want the carbon high-cut helmet, and it should be in probably sandstone. Um, yeah, I would say sandstone. That's the closest color to what he's wearing. And then as far as the headset goes, let's see here. This is the exact, wait, nope, where did it go? I think it was A. It just loaded slow there. Yeah, so it's headset A, and it should be Coyote Brown. All right then, and as far as handwear goes, the Oakley Pilots are the right gloves, but you want them in sandstone as well. And then for a backpack, um, I actually do think the drone 
is probably the closest you're going to get. That or maybe one of the lighter radio backpacks. So actually this one is pretty good. We'll go with this one. And um, it should be... God, the sandstone is so dark, isn't it? We'll go multicam here. I think in the game it's, it's sort of just like a light khaki color. But because the sandstone is basically like dark brown on this backpack because their colors are all messed up. Uh, I think multicam would be fine. Yeah, I think the digital ones are too obvious that they're digital camo. So I would I would go with multicam and just match the vest. And as far as patches go, um, an American flag, like the IR flag here, wouldn't be a bad idea. And so I mentioned eyewear. In the picture and in the game, he's got goggles up on the top of his helmet. They're not on his face. They're just like sitting up here. So what you could do if you wanted to represent those is you could use the ESS ballistic goggles. And uh, I would probably do them in, maybe not black, but I wouldn't do them in like white either. Uh, I think Coyote Brown looks the best. So you could do the goggles like that. Or not at all. Up to you. Um, sunglasses, you know, are fine too. If you decide not to do the face mask, for example, and you do this instead, the neck scarf instead, um, I think it would be a good idea to do glasses or something because it makes his face look very, like, just kind of boring. Um, but let's go ahead and jump out a little bit, and we'll go into the costume tab so you can get a better look. So this is like one attempt at it, and again, this is really the only way to match the rolled up sleeves. So I, I think I prefer this look, but let's sort of do the alternative look, where we'll give him the, uh, the fleece instead. I guess you could do, well, Business Casual has that weird, like, untucked thing going on. So I don't really like that one. We'll stick to the fleece in black. And then we'll go back to accessories. Rather than the neck scarf, we'll do this. And we'll put the goggles on, too. So this is, like, option B. Or some parts of option B, anyway. So that's, like, the alternative look. I think they both look all right. I do like the fact that you could get the patches and stuff on this shirt, so that's one plus to it. But I always think that these gloves look really odd with it. And I do like the rolled up sleeves better. So you got to kind of pick and choose here. Unfortunately, we're just very limited with the options that we have in game. So I think overall it looks pretty good, though. Hopefully you guys feel the same way. Uh, otherwise, um, thank you a ton for watching. Don't forget to keep throwing me new ideas for uh, new characters. I've got plenty of other uh, requests to do, so we'll keep going with these for a while, but feel free to throw more down in the comments below. Uh, thanks again for watching, and I will see you guys next time.